How's it going guys? Cody guys again with yet another vlog. More prison news guys. Um, HMP Lyle of White, six times more drugs found than five years ago. The story reads, the number of drugs found by prison staff at Isle of Wight prisons has rocketed over the past five years. Prison reform charity, the Howard League, said that the increase in contraband, including drugs and mobile phones in England and Wales prisons, reflects wider failings in the penal system. Six times more than five years ago. In the 12 months to March 2018, 51 searches uncovered drugs within the Isle of Wight prisons. Six times more than five years ago. Over the same period, 4% of mandatory drugs, tested con uh, drugs tests sorry, conducted at HMP Lyle of Wight returned a positive result. Figures from the Ministry of Justice and Her Majesty's Prison and Probation Service show, in total, inmates failed 28 of the 666 tests conducted in the institution, including psychoactive substances. For the first time this year, the figures include psychoactive substances such as spice, the abuse of which has increasingly become a concern for prison staff. The most common single drug found to have been taken in HMP Isle of Wight was opiates, which was found in 54% of samples, 20% of drug testing positive. The situation on the Isle of Wight reflects the national picture where 20% of all drug tests carried out in prisons in England and Wales were positive, meaning that more than 11,000 samples were returned showing drug use. Andrew Nielsen, the campaign's director at the Howard League for Penal Reform, said... The findings of drugs and other contraband, including mobile phones, 13 of which were found at HMP Isle of Wight over the last year, was symptomatic to wider problems in the prison service. He said, the rising number of drugs and mobile phones confiscations is a, sy a symptom of a problem in an overburdened and under-resourced prison system that is failing the public. Where there is drug abuse, there is also debt and violence, and these problems have become more severe in prisons across England and Wales as overcrowding and staff shortages have taken their toll. <clears throat> the best way to reduce the supply of drugs into prison is to reduce the demand for it. This means ensuring that prisons are properly resourced and prisoners are occupied with purposeful activity such as work, education, training and exercise. Above all, we need to see bold but sensible action to reduce the prison population. This would save lives, protect staff and prevent more people being swept away into deep occurrence of crime and despair. Conditions in England and Wales prisons were recently highlighted when HMP Birmingham was taken into government control from private contractors G4S. Widespread drug use was reported with three recent fatalities thought to be linked to psychoactive substance abuse. Game changer for prison safety. Reacting to the national numbers, Justice Secretary David Gork said, New psychoactive substances are a game changer for prison safety and these statistics reinforce the scale of the challenge. We are addressing this head on and our £7 million, investment, £7 million investment into prison security will further bolster defences via airport style security scanners, improved secure, uh, searching techniques and phone blocking technology. We are also adopting pioneering approach such as our drug recovery pilot at HMP Home House which is leading the way in tackling the supply of drugs and putting offenders on a long term path to recovery. Combined figures. Isle of Wight Prison was formed from three institutions, Albany, Camp Hill and pa uh, Parkhurst, in 2009. Although they reported the figures separately until 2013, all three institutions have been combined for a comparison between 2012 and 2017. That's that one, guys. So this is at HMP Isle of Wight. Next story, guys.